ओके स्टूडेंट्स टुडे द चैप्टर विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज आयन की इक्ली वगैरह दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स एंड लिट बिट डिफिकल्ट ऑल्सो राइट दिस इज ए बिट हायर स्टेप ऑफ केमिकल इक्ली वगैरह सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड आयन की इक्ली वगैरह यू मस्ट हैव रिवाइज ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिकल इक्ली वगैरह परफेक्टली नाउ आयन की इक्ली वगैरह द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन आयन की इक्ली वगैरह इज ऑफ पी एच this is also called by some as power of hydrogen and the term ph was given by a scientist known as sorensen he said that ph is equal to minus log of activity of h plus ions now in case of dilute solutions activity can be comfortably taken as equal to concentration of h plus ions so this formula under normal conditions changes as that ph equal to minus log of h plus ion concentration of a solution and remember once we are talking ph of a particular solution then this h plus ion concentration has to be total h plus ion concentration solution present in the solution so better we write here itself uh, minus log of h plus ion concentration total right we start with one small example here suppose you are given that find the ph of 10 to power minus 2 molar hcl solution now we have to find the ph of 10 to power minus 2 molar hcl solution here what happens hcl because of being an strong electrolyte dissociates completely to give h plus and cl minus ions so we get here hcl giving you H plus and Cl minus ions. Now, if you have 10 to power minus 2 molar HCl, which is given here in the question, then this will dissociate completely to give you H plus ion and Cl minus ion. One mole of HCl gives you one mole of H plus, one mole of Cl minus. So 10 to power minus 2 will give you 10 to power minus 2 molar H plus ion and 10 to power minus 2 molar Cl minus ion. Right. Now, as per the given formula of pH. we substitute it here and this becomes uh, that ph equal to minus log of h plus ion concentration which in this particular case will be 10 to power minus 2 so we get it as equal to ph as 2 so ph of a 10 to power minus 2 molar hcl solution will be 2 here see this example looks very simple and the case is actually this is simple also but uh, we can get complicated cases uh, for this uh, like they may ask you that find ph of 10 to power minus 8 molar hcl solution now the logical answer which the student gives usually immediately after checking this uh, that minus log of 10 to power minus 8 so it will become 8 but actually there is a ph scale which we get here and if we say that uh, that ph of hcl solution will be 8 uh, then this become impossible why because if at 25 degree celsius pH is more than seven. The solution is said to be basic. HCl, because of being an acid, this is impossible that we can have a basic solution for an acid. So, we now will understand the equilibrium of pure water at 25 degree Celsius first. After that, we'll come back to this problem here, and then we're going to solve it. See, at 25 degree Celsius, in fact, at any temperature under any conditions. water is always in an equilibrium and the equilibrium is h2o in equilibrium with h plus ions plus oh minus ions in certain cases this can be shown as h3o plus also because actually h plus ions exist in water as h3o plus only so anyway you can show the equilibrium this is the equilibrium of water now we write equilibrium constant for this and equilibrium constant for this is given as kw which is known as ionic product of water now this will become equal to concentration of h plus ions into concentration of oh minus ions remember one thing we are not taking the concentration of water here because at a particular temperature concentration of water will remain constant so that constant already has been multiplied here so we are simply writing kw which is known as ionic product of water remember one thing whatever type of solution we may be having acidic basic or neutral this equation is always going to be valid 
नाउ एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस रिमेंबर ओनली एट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन यू कैन से एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल टू टेन टू पावर माइनस फोर्टीन रिमेंबर ओनली एट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन एज यू चेंज द टेम्परेचर बिकॉज द फॉरवर्ड रिएक्शन इज एंडोथर्मिक द इक्म कॉन्स्टेंट चेंजेस बिकॉज द डिसोसिएशन चेंज इफ यू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर द इक्म इज गोइंग टू शिफ्ट इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एज द रिजल्ट द कंसेंट्रेशन आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज एंड इफ कंसेंट्रेशन इंक्रीज दिस वैल्यू ऑल्सो इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज रिमेंबर दिस इज नेगेटिव पावर सो नेगेटिव पावर इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज ओके नाउ इफ एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस वी हैव गॉट प्योर वाटर देन प्योर वाटर देर इज अ कंडीशन वेन वी कॉल द वाटर एज प्योर वाटर एंड द कंडीशन इज दैट फॉर प्योर वाटर कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस आयंस शुड बी इक्वल टू कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ओ एच माइनस आयंस दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंडीशन ऑफ न्यूट्रेलिटी एंड वी से दैट एट दिस कंडीशन द सोल्यूशन विल बी न्यूट्रल इन ए सोल्यूशन एट एनी टेम्परेचर इफ कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच प्लस आयंस इज इक्वल टू ओ एच माइनस आयंस देन द सोल्यूशन इज सेट टू बी न्यूट्रल नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस then we will have it here that uh, 10 to power minus 14 equal to concentration of h plus ion into oh minus ion now as we are saying that uh, at neutral water for neutral water concentration of h plus will be equal to oh minus so we get uh, that concentration of h plus ions equal to square root of 10 to power minus 14 so this becomes equal to 10 to power minus 7 moles per liter means at 25 degree celsius for neutral water concentration of h plus ions will be 10 to power minus 7 moles per liter vice versa also true means if at 25 degree celsius for a certain solution if h plus ion concentration is given as 10 to power minus 7 moles per liter we can say that the solution is neutral but remember again this is valid only at room temperature 25 to 27 28 that range only you can take now another condition which we will see here in a solution if concentration of h plus ions is greater than oh minus ion concentrations at any temperature at any moment means if you talk about pure water or neutral water then this has got to be greater than 10 to power minus 7 right because at neutral water in neutral water concentration of h plus ions was 10 to power minus 7 moles per liter so if in a solution concentration of h plus ions is given as greater than oh minus concentrations then the solution is said to be acidic so at 25 degree celsius again concentration of h plus ions in the solution if it is greater than 10^-7 we say that the solution is acidic right now similarly if in a solution concentration of h plus ions is less than oh minus the solution is said to be basic like this now again the case is at 25 degree celsius obviously concentration of h plus and the solution should be lesser than 10 to the power minus 7 based upon this condition this is condition for acidic solution this is condition for basic solution this is condition for neutral solution based upon this at 25 degree celsius a scale is given which is which is known as ph scale and this ph scale starts from 0 and goes up to 14 in between we will have 7 now at 25 degree celsius means room temperature if the ph range of the solution lies here then the solution is said to be acidic if it lies from here to here if it lies from here to here we say the solution will be basic and if it is exactly 7 remember exactly 7 we say the solution is neutral this is ph scale now come back to the original problem previous problem which we are talking about ph of 10 to power minus 8 molar hcl solution now see what happens if we say we simply substitute the values in the sorensen formula ph equal to minus log h plus ion concentration then 
this will become minus log of 10 to the power minus 8 which comes out to be 8. Pay attention here. This pH will fall in this region which will mean the solution is basic. Obviously, HCl solution becoming basic that is ridiculous, that is impossible. What happens now? See that case. Now see, what happens in those solutions which are highly highly diluted? Example, you can take 10 to minus 8 molar HCl solution. Otherwise, we can for basic solutions also 10 to minus 8 molar NOH, 10 to minus 9 molar NOH in those cases. Actually, in this type of cases, for example, one of them 10 to minus 8 molar HCl, we are picking up this example. This one is standard example here. In this case, concentration of H plus coming from dissociation of HCl. HCl dissociates completely, we assume this. Although negligible amount remains undissociated, but comfortable approximation is taken that this dissociates completely, comfortably. If this is 10 to power minus 8, then concentration of H plus coming from dissociation of H plus will be 10 to minus 8 moles per liter. Similarly, Cl minus also will be 10 to minus 8 moles per liter on dissociation. This is the case here. See the case now. Previously, when we discussed for 10 to power minus 2 molar HCl solution, at that time concentration of H plus given by dissociation of HCl was 10 to power minus 2 molar. If you remember, just some time back when I told the formula, we have written that pH is equal to minus log of total H plus ion concentration present in the solution. This was the formula I have given you in the beginning. See the case now. In case of concentrated solutions like 10 to minus 2 molar HCl solution, we substitute it here minus log of 10 to power minus 2. Remember one thing, there is one more system, there is one more compound which is giving H plus ions into the solution and that one is water. The equilibrium water just now we discussed, if you remember, water also dissociates to give you H plus ions as we have discussed earlier, it gives H plus and OH minus ions. Now, what happens here that these H plus ions which are created by HCl, they exert common ion effect on this water equilibrium, the result of which is this equilibrium goes in backward direction. I should common ion effect this is called. Now, water under normal conditions would have given 10 to power minus 7 moles of H plus ion and 10 to minus 7 moles of OH minus ions if there was no other compound added, pure water we are talking about. Now, you added a common ion from HCl, this is H plus ion common ion. This leach early principle we apply here, if you add product, equilibrium goes backward. We added H plus ion, this equilibrium starts shifting in backward direction. As a result, concentration of H plus ions decreases. It goes below 10 to minus 7 moles per liter. Now, total H plus ion concentration here will mean H plus ion concentration coming by dissociation of the acid or acids, whatever the case may be, plus H plus ion concentration coming from water. Now, see one simple case. H plus concentration coming by dissociation of the acid is 10 to power minus 2 moles per liter. We are talking about this case. Now, already this was 10 to power minus 7. This is minus 2, this is minus 7 huge difference is there. But the case is, in the presence of common ion, this further decreases as the result concentration of H plus coming from water can be neglected comfortably. This will be a valid approximation which is taken here. Because of this 10 to minus 2 and this is 10 to minus 9, obviously there is no sense in adding it up here. So, we simply say this will be minus log of 10 to minus 2. This is approximated to minus log of 10 to minus 2 and we say pH becomes 2. Got it? But if you have 10 to minus 8 molar HCl solution like this case, this particular case, see how the things change here. Now, H plus ion concentration coming from the dissociation of the acid has become 10 to power minus 8. Right? While 
the concentration of H plus ion coming from water now you cannot neglect. Two reasons for that. Number one, legally principle, the more amount of the product you add, the more equilibrium will shift in backward direction. Means uh, if we are adding more and more H plus ion from the acid, this will go more and more in backward direction. Getting it? Previously, we have added 10 to minus 2 molar. Previously, we have added 10 to minus 2 molar HCl. As the result, this equilibrium would have shifted a lot in backward direction. As the result, concentration of H plus ion would have decreased a lot. It would have gone of the order of minus 9, minus 10, maybe still less. But when you are adding only 10 to minus 8 moles, the equilibrium is not going to get affected much. Right. So here, in this case, concentration of H plus coming from water also cannot be neglected. What happens now? We assume due to this dissociation in backward direction, concentration of H plus became X moles per liter. This is X moles per liter coming from water only. One mole of water gives one mole of H plus, one mole of OH minus. So if this is X, this also must be X here. Now, this concentration of H plus coming by dissociation of HCl because of this being a strong electrolyte is going to be 10 minus 8 only. See the equation now. We substitute the both the values in this equation and this becomes equal to minus log of 10 to the power minus 8 plus x. Now our objective will be to find the value of x so that once we substitute here, we will take minus log and we will get pH from here. Now comes into picture the KW of water which is ionic product of water and at 25 degrees Celsius as I told you this is constant always constant for any type of solution this is 10 to minus 14. KW of water will be equal to concentration of H plus into concentration of OH minus right we substitute the values concentration of H plus will be 10 to power minus 8 which came from dissociation of HCl plus X which came from dissociation of water total H plus becomes 10 to minus 8 plus X into concentration of hydroxyl ions which is X and this will be equal to 10 to power minus 14 right now if you calculate the value of x from here quadratic equation will be formed which you will have to solve obviously there is no escape from there solve this and the value of x will come out nearby 10 to minus 8 only as the result the case becomes that here it cannot be neglected as compared to 10 to minus 8 like we neglected in case of 10 to power minus 2 solve it after that substitute it here and you will find that this value pH will come out slightly lesser than 7 means approximately 6.9 something. Alright, so the solution remains acidic but obviously the dilution is very very high so the solution is not going to be strong enough it will be just negligibly acidic. Actually in our mouth the pH is much lower okay so that is going to be still least weaker acid only. Alright, this is how we find pH of strong acids or strong bases. I will show you one example for a strong base also. The similar procedure will be followed, exactly similar process for strong bases also.